Hello and welcome to episode 249. We're going to be making some automatic room lights. Lights that uh, come on when you go in the room and go off when you go out. Um, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm just going to show sort of one or two. Uh, let's grab myself a bit of wool and we'll have a little marker there. That's going to be the sort of the center of my room. Okay, and let's grab a redstone lamp as well. And that's going to be my light. It could be anywhere, it could be in the ceiling, it could be in the wall, up to you. Right, we want to check if the player comes near this place here. So I'm going to put a marker there. So let's summon a marker first. Let's get the coordinates. Fill. Oh dear, caps lock seems to be on. Fill, tab, tab, tab. Get the coordinates of that block there. Okay. We will summon a marker. Quite often we use armor stands, but I think we've probably seen that enough. We're just going to use a marker. Much better than an armor stand. It doesn't tick or do anything. Uh, and we want to type properly, is what we want to do. We want definitely want to tag it. Tags. Um, what should we call it? It's, it's a marker for the lights, so I'm going to call it light marker. That seems good enough. Done. Boink. Uh, summon marker. Is the marker there? More than likely. TP myself to any entity. Tag equals light marker limit equals one. No entity was found. Okay, press the button. Okay, right, we know it's there because I teleported to it. Okay, let's have a controller. Let's start with something simple. Boink. Uh, we'll call this uh, controller for one light. Right. We are going to Get the coordinates of that lamp. Okay, let's get the coordinates of this lamp. Fill, tap, tap, tap. And let's use those coordinates. We're going to execute if block those coordinates is a redstone lamp lit equals false. So that's our first check. If that is true, then we will execute at entity tag equals light marker as any player, the distance equals, let's say, 0 to 3. You can change that, put whatever range you want. Run set block at the coordinates of that lamp. Red sante? No, redstone lamp lit equals true and that's repeating oh, so, oh let's turn it on so if i go within three blocks of that marker the lamp should come on perfect okay uh, and let's just copy this block actually control middle mouse pop it down there we'll change it to always active chain and let's just go through the same execute if block redstone lamp well this time we're checking to see if it's lit so lit equals true at distance of 0 to 3 okay let's say 4 or higher run set block lamp equals false done so it should turn off yeah so we go in the room the lamp comes on we go out the room the lamp goes off cool well that's definitely working um Let's make it work for more than one light because we don't want to have these two checks running for every single light. That's not really necessary. And let's slow it down so it's not checking 20 times a second. Let's, let's make it check one every, every one second. That would probably be better. So let's have a new controller over here. Okay, what should we call this one? We'll call this one... Uh, controller and it's going to be timed and there's going to be multiple lights 
Controller times multiple. That'll do. And let's put that on there. I'm going to need a scoreboard because we're going to need something for the timer. So I usually end up calling these setup. Scoreboard, objectives, add, and we want a timer, so I'm going to call it timer. And it's going to be a dummy. Done. Make sure to add it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do in here is we're just going to increment the timer. So the timer is going up. Scoreboard players, um, add, uh, we need a fake player. We'll call them light check. Their timer score, we'll add one to it. So that's going to constantly go up. Let's pop down the next one. Execute, if score, uh, light check timer matches and we'll just check every second so let's say matches 20 run scoreboard players reset light check timer okay we turn that on we should have a score of 15 now it's 20 now it's 4 so that's resetting okay that seems to work right now what we want to do is we're going to set a redstone block instead. Okay, let's put down another command block. We will execute if score, light check, timer, uh, we'll say matches one. If we, we could say 19, um, but then we'd have to change all these commands if we change how often. So if we changed that to 40 would then have to go through and change all these commands to 39 so we're just going to say one we'll do it at the beginning so if it matches one we will run we will if the block the, have we still got the coordinates saved i think those are still the same coordinates is a redstone lamp lit equals false at entity tag equals light marker so it's pretty much the same as the last command now as any player whose distance equals naught to three run set block at those coordinates actually let's pick different coordinates Done. We'll set block here. We'll see why in a moment. Copy. We'll set that to redstone block. And we'll write replace. It replaces the default. Done. So if that is off every one second, let's have a look for the command from the beginning every 20 ticks if that block is unlit and we are near it we will put a redstone block there so do we have a redstone block i don't seem to have a redstone block okay let's go and have a look why would it not be working let's check we got this command here right uh, this uh 30, 56, 22, that certainly seems okay. And you are definitely going around, like time of one. We're resetting okay. 30, 56, 22. Well, it all seems good. Have, yeah, we've definitely done the timer, we've seen that working. Lit equals false. Light marker, that's what we called it. Okay, this is very strange. Why does this not work? Is ah okay, maybe I didn't get close enough. Oh, this one's still running. Is that causing a problem? Yes, it was. Silly me. We had two running at the same time. So our redstone block has appeared. Right. 
Now, if we get a bit further away, so let's shift uh, control middle mouse and get that one. Home. So if it equals one, if that block there is lit this time, then tag like marker distance equals, what did we put? We put four or higher. Run set block and let's change that set block. So we've one there, let's change it to here. Okay. Like so. Done. So if we get close, that one is lit. And if we get far away, okay, this one's not working now. <laughs> what are we doing wrong? Oh, it's not true. Because we're not lighting it. That's why. Okay. Perfect. That makes sense. We're not lighting it. So what we need to do is we need to light that block. Let's grab its coordinates, which we have in here. Control copy. Get rid of that block there for a second. Set block there. Redstone lamp lit equals true. Done. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it there. And I'm just going to change that to false. Done. Right, let's go close to it. Cool, that worked. Let's walk away. And it's gone off. But these blocks are still here, which means this is not going to work again. So we're going to have to... Put a little, oops. Let's put a little reset down in the ground here. Set block. The one above me to... I always use, like to use white wool as a reset. And we'll put one here. Okay. We get close. It turns on. We go far away. It turns off. Perfect. So now we've got multiple lights. We can just chain them all on the end here. So let's do that. We'll put another light here. Fill. Tab, tab, tab. Okay. We can see that all we need to do is change that 22 to a 25. Let's copy that. Put it there. Change that 22 to a 25. You will always be active chain. And we'll do the same here. 22 to the 25. Okay, so now when we walk in the room, both lights come on. So you can you can see now we can have 20 lights, just add all their things onto the end of those chains, and they go off. Right. Here's where we get a problem by using the block state lit. If this block gets an update it will realize it doesn't actually have any power and it will go out. Now it's come back on because I'm standing close. So that's not so bad. However, because that's the one we're checking. If we knock out this one, if we can reach it, it's off. Now this one's still lit and that's the, that's the one we're using to check if all the lights are on. So that's never going to come back on. That is a disadvantage of using the block state lit. If the block gets an update, it's uh, going to turn itself off. Now, I think something like a trapdoor, although it will cause a problem when you put it down, opening and closing it doesn't bother the thing. So that's fine. So if you've got a problem, you probably find, for instance, if you have two blocks next to each other, so that's 22, that would be 23. Let's copy that, put it there, change that to 23. Copy that, put it there, change that to 23. Done. Now, what's, <laughs> what's happening? So what's happening is this one is being set to true. Then this one's being set to true. Then this one's being set to true. And that is causing this one to update and turn off. And then this one is the one we're checking, so it turns back on again, and that's causing this one to turn off. So you, using this technique, you can't have the blocks next to each other like that. It doesn't like it. Now, can we get away, instead of setting them individually, can we try 30, 
56, 23, and change from a set block to a fill. Now I'm expecting this to not work. Control copy, because it still has to place them one at a time. So there we go. Let's try the fill instead. Yeah, in fact, in fact, even worse. It seems that what's happening here is that instantly this one is turning on, this one's turning on, which is updating this one to off, and when that one goes off, it updates this one to off. So that's worse. So if you want two lights next to each other, easiest way to do it, instead of actually setting the lamp to true, what we'll do is we'll just go one higher, like that. And we'll set that to a redstone block. Uh, let's copy all of that. Shift Home, Control Copy. We'll put you in there, and we'll change that to my reset color, which I use for white wool. Done. There we go. So now they're both on, and they're fine, and they both go off. No problems at all. So you can see there's a slight little delay though between the two different versions. This one's much quicker. On at the same time, that's fine, but going off, that one turns off first. So if you're going to put them, have them all in the same room, I'd use the same style for all of them. Uh, and this one doesn't matter, because this one, if, if it gets updated, it, it just says, well, I've got a power source, so I'm not going to turn off. So if you've got space, I think this version is probably the better version. Uh, but if you know your block's not going get, to get updated, or you don't have enough space, or maybe the block's floating, they're not next to each other, then you can just um, you can just update the uh, the block state instead. Okay, so we have a room we walk into and the lights turn on, and when we leave, the lights turn off. I think if I was going to have this in an area, I would probably have. If I'm not in the area, I'd have this command off, and then I have a little detector, and when I walk into the area, this gets powered and turned on. And then this is running. No point having this running if the player is nowhere near it in your map. Cool, there we go. Anyway, a room with automatic lights that turn on and off. I think this one was suggested by Craig the Pony quite a while ago, I think now. Sorry, Craig, took me a while to get around to this. Uh, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.